All right, welcome back to Pinewood. So when we last left off, we had 492 villagers, and I made a save file right at the end of the video. And now when I load that save file, it crashes about a minute after I load it up. However, I had saved about 10 to 15 minutes before that, and that save file is fine. So rather than worry about it, I'm just going to move on. The entire time I've been playing Foundation since way before early access, since the uh, early alpha just after Kickstarter, I've had so few crashes. I'm not really worried about it. I don't know exactly what happened to the save file, but uh, I just have to get over it. Anyway, um, this I'm outside this new granary that I built too close to this house because we are getting warning messages that they can't access it. So let's go ahead and turn on the user interface. We see I'm up to 481 villagers. I have immigration turned off for now. I'm going to reevaluate. I mean, I have I, I can do everything that I did before a second time around, so naturally I've done it differently because uh, you can always improve the second time around, right? I can either delete this house which is going to screw a bunch of things up or move this maybe further back. And I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to want you to empty your stock of bread. And uh, we're not going to stock any berries for now uh, because you're complaining about it anyway. So get that bread out of there. And what do we have? We have two people here. So uh, Sedena, where do you live exactly? Um, you live uh, right over here up the hill and you can walk down this little road and come over here and come right over here So you know what you are going to work at the bread market. So if I hit the X here, how long do I have to wait? I wonder mm, We're gonna do bread and Are you available yet? You're not But if I don't click unemployed and I click this do you possibly show up in the list? Well Adela does you're a transporter Huh. I wonder. I wonder what. Uh, well, yeah, you're probably you're probably at the uh, warehouse off to my right over here. Taylor blacksmith. Uh, Gwart is the market tender. Go on. Is that you? Yeah, you're selling berries. No, I need you to keep doing that. Uh, I just need to get this. Okay, so I'll be back to visit this as soon as. Uh, well, Sedena is. Uh, un is that the way you pronounce your name? Sedena. You say, it says you're unemployed now. Come on, show up in the list. Boo. All right, well, we'll have to wait till she shows up in the list. And then she can do the bread, uh, which will probably sit here until she does that. Um, in the meantime, uh, let me show you some of the things I've redone. Because now I'm paranoid about granary access, sorry, granary access, I went ahead and removed one of our hunter's huts here and then scooted this church back a little further to move it away from this because we have people that are walking all over the neighborhood to get to church and so I'm uh, building some churches uh, slightly changed the design too, added a round tower uh, we'll see how that looks and then I had to do the same way over here and with this one I did the bell inside the round tower arrangement which uh, I'm going to have some words with the uh, chief architect. I'm not sure I like the way that looks. But that's what's going on. So that's that's the way it's going to look for now. Um, the next thing I wanted to do was try to evaluate uh, the fact. So so I'm worried about the hunters, right? So if, so if you look at these, these hunter huts, all of them have boars in them. And really what I'd like to do is follow around the warehouse people like so and I, I keep saying warehouse I mean granary uh, I, I use the terms inter interchange which I shouldn't but so we don't have any boars here we've got 40 bread because this stock max maximum is working like a champ so I think Hob yeah you're you're way up there you're a pretty sophisticated dude and you say you're on a transport mandate so let's see where you're going so you're over here, you're going on a transport mandate. Now, I can't help but remind you, are you getting bread? That your hunter's huts are way behind me. What did you just do? Where did you go? What, what, you're on a transport mandate. Oh, did you take bread out of here? Oh, you're doing the stock maximum routine. And you just grabbed some bread 
to bring back over. Uh-huh. Okay. Alright, so let's speed it up a little bit. Let's get get, get a move in here. And, uh, right, so if I look at this, the bread turn is now going to go up to 100. Okay, so now what are you doing? Now you're fulfilling your needs. Alright, great. Let's pick another transporter then and see if we can't get somebody to do something. Alfreda, what are you doing? You're looking to fill your needs. Gitta? Get a move on it. You're looking to fill your needs. Bia, uh, you're looking to fill your needs. Well, this is a mighty productive oh, granary. I can tell you that. But you can see the problem, right? Um, they're going all over the place to get clothes, to get uh, faith, to, uh, to get um, food. Their primary and secondary food, water and lodging. I'm going to wait. And I'm just going to wait. Oh, now you're gonna. Now you're reserved at to get some wine. Where? Oh, way up here. Cool. So now you've reserved to get some wine way up here, at this uh, bar, pub, the pub, the pub. Uh, and that is a long way from over here. So, I could build another pub over here. Yeah, you you can see the problem though. They're they're walking all over the place, completely inefficient. Uh, somebody just took bread. Oh, that's you. I meant you. Yeah, you've now got uh, 45 bread. Perfect. And so we've got another transporter walking around. Who are you? Annie, you're a transporter. Where are you going? Where are you going, Annie? I don't know where Annie's going, but she's she's on the road. Um... Anybody here uh, actually doing a tra you're, you're you're on a transport mandate? Okay, Hob, what you doing? So here's Hob again. He's on a transport mandate, and again, I want him to go to a hunter's hut, but instead, he appears to be going to get some more bread because the what are you what are you that's. That's an interesting way. We really got to dump that. Okay, so you're helping to empty that, but come on, dude. So, again, bread. All right, so who else do we have? Alfreda's on a transport mandate. What you doing? Are you going to do the hunting? It looks like you are. So let's see how many of these you do per one transport mandate. So there you go. You picked up uh, some boars. So this now has zero boars. And then uh, we're going to want to see how many you picked up. So let's uh, pop this on top. We have zero, zero, and zero. And now we have seven. And now you're looking to fill your needs. Holy cow. There is no way you're going to be able to get... There's no way. There's just no way. You, you see what I'm saying? We're going to need another granary just for the boars. I feel like. So I could put another granary in over here, uh, reduce the hunting zone yet again. Why don't I go ahead and do that? Just trying to, it's going to cost me because the granaries have upkeep costs, but we're just trying to raise the efficiency of these boars because there, a lot of them are sitting inside the hunter's hut. So let's put another granary in. Yeah, we're going to tear a bunch of stuff down. That's okay. Uh, we'll put you right on the road here. This should give everybody plenty of room to get around. All right, we'll go ahead and uh, high prioritize this so we can get that thing built. And then we'll revisit uh, the efficiencies there. In the meantime, pull all the bread out of the broken granary until uh, it's empty and then I can move it back and hopefully, cross your fingers, get it to work correctly. All right, now, we have to do uh, kind of the part I was dreading. I'm not really dreading it, but we have a few unemployed. So let's see where they live because uh, I've got to redo a lot of these. Like we had these, these tailors finish and they don't have anybody in. And do they have anybody even close? No, they don't. I never moved anybody in here. So I'm going to have to do that again. And since I've already done it once, um, I'll just do it now and uh, we'll fast forward a little bit and then I'm gonna have to bring some more people in We're gonna have to get up to that. Well, obviously the goal now is to go over 500 villagers All right, three or four are coming in. This is good because uh, 
Oh, wait, 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 wait. I said I wasn't going to record this part, but... Okay. I was over here to the warehouse because one of these warehouses handles common clothes. I want to stock this... Do I... I want to stock this... I want to go stock maximum on this one. And the reason I do is because if we go over here to this area that I'm working with, um, I was able to completely make... Uh, too many common clothes. This is almost full at 78. Textiles is almost full. Wool is now down to zero. Are you kidding me? I didn't have this opened up yet. Uh, yeah, I'll deploy my troops. We could use the cash, right? 5,300. We're not doing too bad on cash. I don't want to get overconfident on the cash front. There's Dora go. But, uh, we could use some cash. And, you know, if you just build a house here, that would be great. That's all I'm saying. Just build a flipping house. I wonder. So it's complaining about three lacking space for housing. So these bottom three. Selena, you don't have a home. Rosmunda, you don't have a home. Jalita, you don't have a home. But Christiana... You have a home. Only one's decided to join. You have a home over here. Okay. That reminds me, too, uh, while I'm looking. And, yeah, I'm, I'm running on speed 3. I normally, once once we go below 60 frames per second here, or 59 frames per second, I usually don't like to run at speed 3 because the village is getting bigger. But, what the heck, I'm taking a chance. Uh, this farm is going to be partially empty, yeah. I only have Franco. And I do have Rolf now, who's unemployed, that lives close. So we can have the second farmer. And we don't have a third farmer over here. However, while I've been blabbing, surely, surely, uh, this warehouse uh, person, yeah, she's left. And so now I can put her in here to help sell some bread. Now that we're not storing bread over here. But she can get what's left of the bread. Sedania. Sedana? I don't know. Uh, anyway, if you want to show up for work and go and grab some bread, grab the rest of the bread here, that would greatly speed things up for villagers like space for housing. Give me a break. Give me a break. Let me slow it down to two. All right. Just finish it. Get the bread. There it is. You got it all. Now you're going to sell it over here. Excellent. There you go. 18 bread. In the meantime, this. Averil, you're gone. And let's clear all this out and destroy it. How much? What's the refund? What's the refund? 25 gold, 7 wood, 2 stone. That's better than nothing. Delete. All right, now. Let's build another granary. Cross your fingers, this one will work. What do you care, right? I'm the one that has to deal with it if it doesn't work. So that's the only corner. This, this front left corner is the only corner where they don't need in. So I'm going to put the front left corner there. And I'm going to put the other corners like this. You would think that they can easily get into these. That's what I'm going to say. So let's put it down. Let's go ahead and higher prioritize it. All right. Um, oh, you're requesting an audience again? Still? Fish? No. I don't, 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 don't even start. Don't even start. All right. In the meantime, this granary got finished. Okay. And we're going to have the same problem we did before. We have... Uh, the boars and the bread, this one's going to be all boars because we need all transporters. They're so inefficient at this point. We need all of them to bring the boars in. I don't think we have anybody that lives close. I was wrong. Bridget, you actually live fairly close. Uh, you can go ahead and move in, sure. Or you can, you can do the transport thing. And then, uh, who else? Uh... Jalita, let's, uh, let's, let's see where Jalita lives. Um, where do you live? You don't have a home, which is why you're registering that distance. And you don't have a home because you are flat out refusing to build where I tell you to build. That's depressing. Okay, fine. No, 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 no. That's fine. That's fine. You don't have to move here then. You know, okay? You don't have to. Get it out. Get it out. You're going to move up here, on top of the hill. We're going to put a residential area right on top of the hill here. There we go. Because you need all this space, apparently, 
to move. There's two. There's three houses. Right? And we'll just bring some more Taylor's Workshops down. But now this is going to be a new residential area. And the pathing here allows us to maybe have people work over here. It's not perfect. But uh, there we go. And this is on the front side. So I guess, remember I was, I was hesitating whether I'm going to allow upgrades or not. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to catch these when they get finished and turn off the uh, density upgrades. And if I miss them, so be it. Since this feature is going away anyway and I've got plenty of the good houses. That's it. I'm not going to talk about it anymore. That's what I'm doing. So now, now we have people that are going to live closer over here. I'm all over the place. So uh, let's do Taylor number one is going to be Selena. And Taylor number two is going to be uh, Jalita. Okay. And uh, for berries, uh, these are not all filled out. So let's just do this one right now. I think this is going to be Maynard. Maynard, get in there. And then, how's the tax office doing? Isabel's collecting taxes. How's the budget doing, by the way? Yeah, 3483, 200 bucks in taxes collected, tavern meal income 2200, trade 15, villager consumption 14264. You can't argue with that. And our soldiers are back and they just gave us some more money and I think we actually capped. So that's that's perfect. Can't argue with that either. And uh, there's a there's a quick save. You may see me saving more often. So, because wool is low, all right, we have 400 shirts. Uh, we're now cutting down on the textiles, but our wool number is only 15. I think that... Uh, okay, I have two ideas. I w so, I want to finish this. I'm going to build another... Uh, I'm going to build another sheep farm. Uh, just because I saw it. I saw it. It's down below where it should be, right? Another sheep farm. And let's put you uh, right here on top of the hill. We'll take out a few trees, but that's okay. One more should do there. Um, my thinking is, you know how those those workers at the granaries um, have advanced to uh, the commoner or citizens. We have 122 citizens, 160 commoners, 179 serfs. They've advanced to citizens, so they're very inefficient. If I could keep Keep the people down. <laughs> if I could keep houses from upgrading, I think I can prevent. I don't think somebody in a non-upgraded house will become a citizen. I think that's why you get the houses have to upgrade. And so if you look over here, one mistake, you might call this a mistake, is that, you know, I put in a lot of nice berries and everything. So all the houses over here are upgraded. So these are all citizens except for these two suckers who are... Oh, these are soldiers. I could reassign soldiers. But anyway, you know, so so how do you keep people from uh, how do you keep people from upgrading? It's that's a bad term, but how do you keep people from upgrading? Uh, oh, look, you already got eleven boars. That's good. And Bridget, and yeah, you're you're up there. You're a citizen. Okay, Bridget, I must have. I must have kicked you out of your job, and I don't remember where, so I'm going to have to review that. But I'm definitely going to want somebody else in here. And I don't think we have anybody super close. However, I could take these soldiers here, but this house is going to upgrade. Alright, that's just the way it is. Novus Otan and Novus Lillian. Uh, you're now back, so I'm going to assign you as transporters. And hopefully you'll show up in the list. You didn't. Alright. Um, how can I reassign you then? Let's just say you are going to be unemployed. You are going to be unemployed. Now I might add, one thing that's going to change with the soldiers is that pretty soon the one of the villagers needs, and I think it's going to be an early need, is going to be security. Therefore you're going to have to have so many soldiers to solve their security need, which uh, will help will force a balancing of the number of soldiers. You know, not just five soldiers for the whole village, which is obviously unrealistic if you want security. 
Uh, but uh, not that's not happening now. So I will assign the soldiers to this warehouse. And then um, I'll need some new soldiers. So let's see. Let's. We've got a lot of unemployed here. Uh, I'm just going to start clicking in here. There's the two novices that are unemployed. Avril, where do you live? Um, you're actually right up here. Really? Well, okay, right, 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 right. You're going to go in here. You're, go you're going to go into the granary once it's finished. So that's Avril. Avelina, where do you live? You're out here. And you know, did I not build a hunter's hut and then not put somebody in it? I swear I did. And I've just remembered that. Hunter assigned. See, there you go. I see it right here. Right here. And it's right over here. Right there. Sort of built it on the edge here. So, who do we have? We have Avelina at 19 meters. You're going to hunt. Good. That adds hunting. And then uh, Meliana. 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 Where do you live? You're over in here, and we've already got some upgrades over in here. Where are we? Technically, this is okay. We've already got some upgrades over here. Two of one is now joined. We're up to 488. Where did I want to put you as far as jobs go? I don't really have any jobs up here. I could make some jobs up here. We've got this church, which I believe is full. Mm, oh, we're way up here. Yeah, 45 of 45. Good grief. We are way, way up here. Mm, is this filled out? We only have two transporters here. So how about that? Let's let's add some transporters while we can. Will it? And Aslina. Aslina. Wait a minute. Maybe. So now we have four transporters at that granary, which is good. Granary. Excuse me. And uh, now, uh, do we have, yes, we have Lillian and we have Otan. Dora is stuck as a soldier and that's all there is to it. And I need one more. Mm -hmm. And we don't have one more over here, so I'll have to think about how we're going to do that. But in the meantime, we've got some more villagers coming in. They're probably building up on top of this hillside here. These houses are done. So I have time to... This, this isn't the houses. Pause. E over here are the houses. And they are also done. So let's unclick the allow upgrades. Unclick. It's low. So maybe they'll stay efficient. And unclick. So these all do not allow... Uh, whoops, I forgot this guy. These all do not allow upgrades now, right? Yes. Perfect. One at a time. Do I want to build more up here? When we get more villagers now, they're going to move into some of the houses where only one person lives. And then after that, I'm going to need them as farmers over here. And that's going to be... This area, really, you can't... You can't really... We, we don't really have that much room for more. Um, maybe if I can sneak them right up in here. Right along the border here. There is some room back in here. Yeah, maybe I can sneak a few in here. We'll, we'll give it a try and see if we can get anybody in here. These can upgrade all they want. Right? And... Yeah, because I could use some more farmers. How are we doing? A 45 bread. We could really use some more bread. Now, did I remember... I was bringing wheat over here, and I'm doing it again. We have a stock maximum for wheat, and we have 100 wheat over here. So that these guys can get the bread easily. And you're not doing anything. We have this new bakery over here that I did assign... Oh, yeah. Okay. So, I just remember, this was towards the end of the last, the last episode, but... I did get these guys in. And we have an absolute ton, absolute ton. That we got flour coming out of the seams here. Uh, we could really use some more windmills at some point. We only have two for the whole village, yet we have that much flour. That's kind of crazy. 
Uh, you'd think we'd have more bread, but that's just not the way it works. Possibly because it can get caught up while they're making bread between uh, harvests of wheat. All right. Is this thing finished yet? Hey, perfect timing. All right. We are going to store... Uh, clicked the wrong button. We are going to store... Let's do bread in the first one. Bread. Stock maximum. Then berries. Berries. And berries. I don't see any need to stock maximum since we have berries over here. I guess I, I guess I could have one slot stock maximum. Let me give it a try. These top two slots will be stop, stock, stock maximum. Easy for me to say, and we'll see what happens. So we have, um, Oton. Wait a minute. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. What's Oton doing? And what happened to the people that were free up here? Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Something's going on. Who moved into here? Bridget, Lillian, and Avril all moved into here. That's the old one. Here's the new one. Nope. This is the new one. Otan was the one that lived here, right? Otan and Lillian lived here. Where did I give them jobs? Hmm... Bridget, where do you live? I mean, you're fairly close, right? You were the first one. Lillian, where do you live? Wow, you've reserved a lot of stuff. You live fairly close, yep. And then um, Avril, where do you live at? Avril, you're way up here. Yeah, Avril, um, I didn't... Yeah, you're unemployed. It was Otan. Okay, we just got kind of mixed up. That's all right. Otan's supposed to be down here. Yeah, Avril, you've been kicked out. And um, there you go. Good. Otan, you're up here. And that means Avril should be available. And... To this one. And let's grab you. There's Avril at 59 meters. And Raccoon, uh, it says you live fairly close. I'm kind of surprised by that. You're fairly new in the village. Where do you live? You live behind the tailors. But to get over here, which is weird. Where's here? To get over here, you have to walk. You have to trudge down around here. And then you can come down this road here. And then you can come over here. And come around and down and around. Yeah. I could put a well up here, which would force a path that might make it a little faster. You know what I'm saying? Because you can come down around here. Yeah, I don't know that I want to do that. Alright, we'll go ahead and... I mean... I think we're okay with, with, with putting you in here. So, we'll put you in here. At 140. There'll be two here now. And we'll see how that goes. We could really use more, but I don't have anybody living over here. And what's this dude want? He wants bread. Uh, we've got 15 at the clergy. We've got 24 in labor. We need to assist the clergy again. Ta-da, there we go. One more decided to, to join. That'll get us back to uh, 492, which is where we left off. We kind of need to get above that. Um, I, don't think I've, I don't think I've made any real progress. Except, uh, I've been kicking people out. You're a market tender. Hob, you're a transporter, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's Charles Dickens. You're a hunter, and you're a hunter. Okay. Oh, I know where, uh, Deborah came from. She was the hunter, or Bridget. She was the hunter that was right up here. That, um, right, uh, she was right, right up here. And I destroyed her hunter's hut in, uh, and put the church up there instead. So, yeah. Okay. I need to employ people if I'm going to get people to come in. So, let's do some, uh, probably builders. Where's your home? You're over here, eh? Do I have all this? Yeah. What kind of job? What kind of job would you like? Do we have any nearby... 
transportation services. Like, what's this? That one's full. Two wheats and some cheese. And... We could make another cheese maker. How much... Uh, we've got... Uh, 30 milk? No, four meals. That's right, we have too many grapes. Okay, sorry, I'm scattered. Scattered again, but... Um, I was gonna look at this... Granary. Which uh, never fills up the first honey slot. And we're gonna do grapes here. Okay. And then we're almost always out of barrels. So... Since we have some unemployed over here, let's create another barrel maker. Um, we have 44 wood. That's good. The stone's down to zero because I'm building the churches. It can stay at zero. Um, let's do another um, cooperage. There we go. And uh, we'll put the other cooperage kind of right across from this cooperage. And we'll take down that tree. Like that guy's getting a barrel right from the cooperage. The monk is. Yeah, we'll put you right here, Cooperage number two. And we'll get that built as quickly as possible. Huguenginen is assigned to construction. And uh, happiness is sitting at 89. We have 32 lacking the secondary food and 25. I say secondary food just because of the position it's in and the fact that our happiness is at 90. And 24 lacking religion because we can't get our churches done. Um, where are the active stonecutter camps? Give me the list. Give me the builder's list. I think it's alphabetical. Stone. 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 Stone hall. Stone extension. Stone main building. We only have one stone stone cutter camp. But we only have two of five people in here. I could do something crazy and say, hey, anybody that doesn't have a home has to work here. But uh, we got Berengar. Why not? And... Uh, Mm, Rosmunda? Yeah, help us uh, produce some stone. One of two. So now we're going to be at 493. Yay, we passed up last time. Why don't we do three? I don't care about the efficiencies of these people. Although, if I look at the employed, forager, forager, carpenter, carpenter, market tender, tailor. Yeah, we don't want to take from those. Yeah, Rosia, yeah, you get in here too and uh, help us collect some stone so we can try to catch up on the stone. I think I'm going to go cheese. Why not? I think I'm going to go cheese. I'm doing a lot of building, right? But um, cheese maker right here. Uh, right behind these other cheese makers. Let's, uh, let's see. We got cheese maker, cheese maker. Cheeseburger, cheeseburger. Uh, let's... Let's put you... Oh, now I'm getting particular because of the way this hillside goes. You should have plenty of room to get in right there. There, let's put that there. Uh, append is going to append to the construction. And... Yeah, I should have no problem getting up there. I don't have any residential areas painted at the moment. Nobody has been complaining, so I'm still... I'm basically just rolling through all our unemployed as fast as I can. Felix... You're up here. You could do some cheese. I put this well in, but we don't have any paths yet. Mm-hmm. Okay. And... That was a weird noise. Nicholas, where do you live? You are over here. You're gonna, you're gonna be a Cooperage. Cooper, Cooper. Uh, Hector, where do you live? I wonder if I assign him to be a Cooper before the Cooperage is built. I wonder if they will not count as unemployed anymore. Let's give it a try. You live right here, right? You're going to be a um, cooper. Not a cook, not a tanner, not a cheesemaker, not a hunter. Not a, you're going to be a cooper. Okay? And Nicholas, who also lives here, you're going to be a cooper. Coop, coop, coop. Don't fly the coop. Where the heck is it? Cooper. There. Now, hopefully you don't count as unemployed anymore, right? And Felix, uh, I covered where you lived, right? You're up on the hill here. Mm-hmm. Um, and we've got this one filled out. Rolf is uh, doing his thing up here on the hill, planting trees. You're selling common clothes, but you've only got one. Oh, I recommend that we stock as much food as we can. Uh, okay, fine. I'll deploy my troops right away. Hey, guess what? We have less troops now. We only have Otto, Gerland... Endora. I'm fine with it. There you go. Off you go. 
Okay, we got bad weather coming, and I still don't like our food supply. Uh, the bread is 107. Berries are 724. Yeah, that's not too shabby. Do we have anybody that we can... These are all filled out, right? Yeah. And uh, how many are you storing here? 15? Uh, I'm going to get mad again. Okay, 304 decided to join. May have to put an end to that scene right now. Uh, bad weather is approaching. 6, 18, 12, 11. You're right next door. What are you doing? You got 26. I don't think you're blocked. You could be blocked. Oh, there's only one person here. Wait a minute. Why am I getting mad if I only assigned one person here? We need a lot of people here. I wonder if... Oh, no wonder. No wonder. Uh, you have to get the wheat, and you've got a bunch of it. I could move some over, but how about we do this? Um, I did make some residential area up here. and Actually, we had two people move in. Who was it? Uh, Tim. It's Tim and Susan. And uh, you made a path right through here. That's interesting. So, are Tim and Susan unemployed? Tim, you're unemployed? Susan, you're unemployed? Okay, I, it says you live a long way away. I guess that is kind of a long way away. But, um... These guys are authorized for upgrades, right? I really use some more villagers down in here, but I don't... What are you guys doing? Yeah, so, so I guess it's telling me that Tim lives too far away. Where's Tim? 188 meters. But there's Arabella at 152 and Gerontius at one... You know, no, you're all in. Uh, luckily, that just added... Uh, where's Matilda live? Matilda is uh, right up the hill. Wow. You weren't there a second ago, I swear. No, it must have been Gerontius, right? And then Arabella at 152. There you go. Okay. No, you were already there. Arabella's already in. Gerontius is already in. It's Tim we didn't get. Tim, you're in this granary. Good. That'll, that'll fix the berry problem. I don't know if I had that before or not. You're all wheat. You've got 100, 100, 100. Isn't that interesting? And this is still an X for some reason. Turn that to green for crying out loud. Why did that... Okay. You need to get some more wheat. So we've got the wheat. We've got the wheat. So what is this telling me? What is this screaming? Is this screaming I need more windmills? I think it's screaming I need more windmills. So where can I put a windmill? I want to put it up on the hill. I'm looking at this fort thinking you're just not that important, fort. You know, we've got we've got things to do. The sheep hut just now finished. Mm, how about we put some more windmills up here? Now, which way are those windmills facing? They're facing this way. Prevailing wind, perhaps? Let's put some windmills up here. Mills. Mills, 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 mills. Come on. Windmill. Let me uh, tell you what. Let me go over here. And make it so that it's facing the same way. Just to be consistent, that's close enough. And then, what can we do up on this hill? We'll put it way up here. Kind of gonna have to change the fort up a little bit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to delete some of those decorations. I'll do that as soon as I put them down. Let's put two in. Let's put one, and let's put another one uh, right over here. Put one way over here. For now, so I should be able to fit one in between them, I think. Yeah. There's two. Now, you... Um, oh, this is Dora's. This is Dora's place. We're going to do the parts, and uh, we've got training dummies. Uh, we're going to bulldoze the training dummies. And we're going to get rid of the... What's this piece? Decorative flag? Nope. Decorative flag? Nope. Decorative flag? Nope. 
Um, small camp? Yeah, small camp. Get rid of the small camp. Bulldoze. And I think that's all I need to get rid of, right? Oh, there were two small camps. I got rid of the wrong one. Blast. <laughs> okay. Here's the other small camp. This is the one I wanted to get rid of. Now let's edit this thing and put in a... Let's put a small camp back. And uh, the small camp can definitely go up here. And uh, you can go right up here. And then uh, the training dummies just have to go closer to uh, to where the, the fort is. Put one there. We'll put another one here. And we'll put another one right here. Three training dummies, all for Dora. And we'll start, and we're finished. Okay, good. And we'll get some windmills up here. Haven't worked on a wooden keep in forever. Okay, and then uh, you ought to be able to get to the grain pretty easily. I might need to force a path up. There's some more cash. 6,300 is what we're sitting on. And who's complaining? It's low, but uh, the farms are full. Okay, so we definitely need more windmills. And the thing is, here's the thing. This is why I'm happy about this. The, the, the thing that the rain stops is wheat. And we have 400 wheat and more wheat in each of the farms. I need even more wheat. All right, you guys. You guys. Uh, yeah, you can't store enough berries anyway. This is going to be wheat. Where is it? Wheat. Get the wheat in here now. Get all the wheat in. Wheat, wheat, wheat. Get the wheat out of the farm. So even if it's raining, we have enough wheat to make bread for probably the entire rainstorm. How about that? Totally planned that, don't you think? No, you don't think? Neither do I. Uh, this church is not finished yet. Zero are passing through. That is a great sign that we will turn off immigration because we're done. You look at this granary, which is finished. It's working. It's quite the circuitous route to uh, get into each one, but um, it's all working, and uh, we've got the 49 bread, which is the stock maximum, and 23 berries at stock maximum, and then these two uh, will fill up uh, when they need to. We have 600 and uh, 700 plus berries in stock. We have bad weather on the way. Oh, we have 498 villagers. Ooh, we're not to 500 yet. Didn't I say we were going to get to 500? Well, we didn't make it to 500. We have 400 and 98 villagers and uh, there are market tenders there she's selling bread no you're selling bread you're selling bread the bread sales are really skyrocketing over here six cheesemakers finished I gotta get that next time six villagers are lacking food all right no no let's 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 finish up so the cheesemakers complete so let's go over here here's the new cheesemaker we should have a couple of unemployed pretty close. Uh, we've got... Uh, well, who do I want to take here? Because some of these are going to be in the cooperage, which is over here. This cooperage, which is not finished yet. These cheesemakers... Uh, let's just go ahead and assign... Uh, I'm going to assign Rudmar and... Loretta is the cheesemakers. I just want to see. Rudmar, where do you live? Just offhand. You live up the top of the hill. So the problem with this, Rudmar, is that you are uh, do not have a clear path down. Well, you do. You go right through here. Wouldn't it be nice? Oh, somebody's walking down. You are walking up and down to this well. That's interesting. That's very interesting. I might have to deal with that later. But anyway, we got the cheesemakers in. The uh, granary is now working correctly. Uh, we have 498 villagers. I turned off immigration because we couldn't get anybody to immigrate. If I could just get two more people, we could stop at 500 and we'd be happy. I have way too many unemployed. Uh, Isabel, Isabel, you live back here. Let's have you be a builder. 
All right, and Benedicta, where you live. You are up here, up here, up here, way up here. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know what? I'll tell you what you're going to be. Let me tell you what you're going to be. I built a new thing right here. Um, you are going to be a, a shepherd. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Baby sheep. There they are. And that should make us some more wool because we're sitting on zero wool. 464 clothing. There we go. And we may have to build, uh, I don't know. I mean, we only have... Okay, we ran out of textiles because basically, oh, basically we ran out of uh, wool. Well, here we go. Uh, just like that, no immigrants. Just like that, the rain has started and we got to do with uh, what we're going to do with. And like I was saying before, and let me turn off these annoying borders here. Like I was saying before, we, we've got plenty of wheat in my opinion. If you look at the wheat numbers, we have a thousand wheat in stock. And that's just awesome. That is absolutely awesome. Yes, they were able to get 164 wheat into this granary. A thousand wheat. That's the key. Because everything else should function. Only the wheat slows down. Everything else should function normally. So we should be able to produce bread. Crosses his fingers. We should be able to produce bread all the way through the bad weather. Uh, we're going to have to see, though. But uh, that is going to have to be it for now. In the rain, um, we're going to call it. And uh, we'll, we'll, we'll end up here where we started uh, with this new granary here. And uh, our, our bread seller is just walking away. That's fine. You didn't want to be in the picture. You know, that's fine. It's whatever you like. But uh, there we are, and uh, when we come back, let's see how we fare through the through the bad weather. With 700 berries and uh, over 1,000 wheat, I think we're going to do okay. We'll see. All right. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you later.